Hey Eric, wanna play with my Transformer doll? You are a whole ass n- You're real wrong with me riding, Ricky! What? I'm perfectly sober! This is only my twelfth bottle! With me red bottle! Give it back! Or I'm gonna get you fixed today! <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Ow, I think I broke my back. You better get used to it. Your back's always gonna feel that way where you're going. Just wait 15 minutes into your re recreation time, or the mess hall, or the showers, or the cell. If you were 16 or younger, I'd let you off easy. But since you're clearly an adult, you will be tried as such. Even if I'm retarded? Especially if you're retarded. Well, good thing I'm only 15 then. Fifteen. That's impossible. But I listen to the Backstreet Boys on my Walkman. Wow. You know all these hip new things. I guess you must be a 15-year-old. Well, son, I don't want you going down the wrong path. Do you have a father who can come and pick you up? Nope. Just my older sister and she threw me out of the house. I see, I see. You need a good, upstanding citizen. Someone who can nurture you. Someone to mold you, yes. A model chiseled by pure masculinity with a moral firmity even greater than iron. You must join the Good Enough Mentoring Program. Do you know how fast you were going? Do I look sober enough to know where I am? Step out of the car. Fine. You better not drop things where you're going. Never drop the soap or your utensils in the mess hall, or your barbells in the recreation hall, or your pillow in your cell. I get it. You don't have to repeat yourself. What? It's not like I told this joke already. I feel like I already heard it today. No, that's impossible. Now, let's get your information down. What's your name and lesson? God, you're Ricky Rat, the celebrity. Why didn't you say? Say what? We assume that you celebrities get enough prison justice as it is, if you know what I mean. No need for the state to dish it out again. Well, thanks for letting me off the hook then. I'll just be on my way. No, no, not that easy. You see, you must be molded into a masculine figure, forged into a new moral firmity unrivaled even by iron. You will join the Good Enough Mentoring Program. You will become a father. Great. Who's the hot broad I'm going to score with? No, I mean metaphorically. You're going to mentor some lost child. Get it through your head, son. Ricky Rat, meet your son. Remember, Ricky, being a father is a sacred responsibility. There is no greater task than this, and there is no treasure more valuable. Wow! He's worth billions of dollars! Well, he'd go for about 45 bucks at a Popeye's parking lot. Remember, Ricky, it isn't about what you receive, but about what you give. Because then you will actually receive. So then it's about what I receive. I'm trying to be poetic, okay? This is nothing like the movie I saw about the social worker in the inner city. Man, this job sucks. None of the kids like me, except for the teenage boys. And that creeps me out. Just get him out of here. So, you hungry? Uh, no. What do kids like anyway? I don't know. Is this your first time at Hooters? So, what do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know. Become a doctor or something? 
Want to know how to make doctor money without going to school? How? Remind me to show you my magic printer. Hey, you're not a hot babe. We're inclusive. Besides, after a few Bud Lights, you'll think I am. Haha. <laughs> but I don't have any money. Don't worry. We pay you to drink it. We really gotta get that crap off our shelves. Actually, I think I lost my appetite. I know a place better than this dump. See? No need to buy food when you can get it for free in one of those magic storage bins. Hey, what the? I stole your hot dog. I'm disappointed in you. Here you are committing petty theft when you could be doing something so much more. Look at yourself. Do you want to be a petty crook? No. You have so much potential. With talent like yours, we could go to the big leagues. I'm not allowed in Yankee Stadium anymore. Something about sexual harassment? No, I mean we could commit grand larceny. I'm talking about the biggest cash grab in history. Glittering? <laughs> Never do that again in front of me. But we're robbing a bank. Even us criminals have morals. I'm sorry, and I won't do it again. As your mentor, it's my sacred responsibility to show you how to care for other people's hard-worked cash. Do you mean investing? Yeah. Don't tell anyone, but I used to be a venture capitalist over in New York. It's a long story. But anyway, I have to stay low. Eh, it's not like you committed any crimes or anything. Well, except for grand larceny and maybe assault and battery, perhaps sexual harassment, but at that, you're squeaky clean. Well, I'm ready to learn about investing. My investment strategy is a little unconventional. I call it Blackjack. Hey, you know why we're here? Sexual harassment? Don't play stupid with us. We know what you did. Robbing a bank? Like we care about that. Drinking and driving? No. Murdering JFK? No. I'm fresh out of ideas. Littering. We've dedicated half the police force to tracking you down. Do you have anything to say for yourself? There's been a mistake. I'm the one that... Tried to tell me not to do it, but I didn't listen. So I'll pay the fine. Fine? Oh no. You're going away, buddy. Ten years in federal prison. The law is the law. It's okay, Father. I'll come for you. I'm also still off his bed. Hey, all right. How would you set down that knife, though? <laughs> Ricky, rat. Hey, Elmo. Make sure to be careful with that knife. We wouldn't want you to roll on it 47 times in your sleep, like your last few cellmates did. Elmo promises to be more careful. Son! Dad! I paid your bail. I bribed the DA. Yeah, I learned about your magic printer. Wow! That was the longest half hour of my life. I'd do anything to repay you. Anything? I guess. Just one teensy weensy favor? What do you need? You'll see. Well, Ricky. Your community service is up. I'm assuming you're going to abandon this wreck of a kid, just like his deadbeat father. Yep, there wouldn't be any other way. Well, it's back to the streets for me. Hopefully I don't do math. Hopefully we will meet up in a few years if I live that long. If you end up being one of the many faceless victims of fatherlessness, I'll likely see you soon. In the obituary, or maybe your mugshot on a wanted poster. Well, goodbye then. What the? Dear Rat Dad, remember how you said you'd do anything to pay me back? Could you fulfill 5,000 orders of my comic cash grab for me? 